Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marani YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about a rudder drop or rudder wear down and how it meshes. So let's discuss about rudder drop or rudder wear down and how it meshes. <coughs> rudder drop or rudder wear down. It is actually the wear drawn of rudder carrier bearing. It is usually measured by trimal gauge. Trimal gauge is used to measure the rudder drop. Rudder drop is actually wear down, uh, wear down of rudder carrier bearing. The wear down of rudder carrier bearing is known as rudder drop. It is measured using travel gauge. Rudder drop is measured by travel gauge. Okay. Here is a picture of a travel gauge and measurement. Here measurement using from the deck head girder point. Okay. There will be rudder carrier, rudder stock, tiller. Wear down will be there. Okay. How this travel gauge works to measure the rudder drop? This travel gauge is a L shaped instrument. From the picture we understand that it is a L shaped instrument. Basically, a point marked on the rudder stock and another point is marked on the hull inside the steering gear room. The distance between this point is measured and recorded at the time of compression. The distance between the original measured, original and measured is called rudder drop or rudder bearing down. Okay. Here means usually when we are in the dry dock also we will check the rudder drop using the trammel gauge. Trammel gauge is a L shaped instrument. Basically, a point is marked on the rudder stock and another point is marked on the hull inside the steering gear room. So, the distance between these two points is measured and recorded at the time of construction. So, if there is difference while we measure in the radio control, the difference between the original and measured is called rudder drop or rudder wear drop. Okay, this is how the rudder drop is measured using primary gauge and all. Thank you.